With the camera, I go everywhere. It's very interesting to go from high to low, from the front stage to the backstage. That's one thing that I've been very, very lucky about. Pigeons are flying by. Do you have my camera? I've been to Paris about four times a year for 30 years. My first time I came to Paris, I think, was 1977. And that was to photograph. Interesting. At that time, there was no digital pictures, so it was a moment that there was no internet, it was a moment that there was no Facebook, no Instagram. There wasn't as many people documenting every single thing, every little moment of their lives, and there was less of that self-promotion and that branding and word that I hate. They're doing selfies here. Everybody enjoys it because they can see themselves as they like themselves. We were a little bit bohemian and avant-garde, and we knew Andy Warhol, and Roxanne was there to catch it all. I used to see her as uh, this black cat in a corner of the backstage, like staring to everything, you know, with bright eyes and jumping on uh, the best scene, you know, at the right moment. My favorite color, black. I can't even, in fact, remember when I stopped wearing color. But black is a combination of all colors, and it goes from day to night. And it's also discreet, so I can be backstage. It's very subtle and powerful. It's empowering. And then brava to take the moment magic of a photograph and of an attitude, of an accustomed of a person to the other. Roxanne is somebody that is almost invisible when she's working. Never was ever imposing in any way. When I first started being a photographer, they didn't have fashion photographers. They had photographers, and they were in camouflage, big safari jackets. And then I was dressed kind of like this. And they said to me when I went backstage or front stage, you can't be a photographer. You don't look like one. And I didn't. I looked like me.